return for our fight picks later in the show. We'll stay with the weigh-ins. And next up is David Tamer. David Tamer! This is finally the fight that David Tamer has been asking for, John. Well, it's a bit of a throwback fight, Dan, I think. Striker versus grappler contest. Tamer takes his exciting Muay Thai style on the road again. This is his fifth time fighting outside of Europe. But it doesn't seem to matter. He's perfect inside the octagon, and he's looking to equal the Swedish record of six consecutive UFC wins. He's a very mature fighter. You can tell that he's had a lot of Muay Thai experience, the way that he moves. He doesn't take many risks. He's a very disciplined fighter. Never really overextends himself. Looks for the opportunities to throw his strikes, but doesn't waste any energy. Very, very efficient. Also saying it's not his biggest fight, which is quite interesting. Said he had bigger fights in Muay Thai. Yeah, I don't know though. I think, you know, now he's on the rise towards the UFC title and he's got to go through guys like Charles Oliveira. This is really where we're going to get to see what David Taymor's made of. I mean, Charles Oliveira, 14 first round finishes, 17 submission wins, and he's a neck attacker. Seven rear naked chokes, three anacondas, three guillotines. Oh, damn, look at this. You know, you've got to think David Taymor's got to stop these takedowns. If he starts too aggressive, he's going to get caught in something. And Charles Oliveira is a very, very dangerous submission fighter. What a face off that was, John. He made his beeline towards Tamor from the scales. Fans liking that one. The first on the scale is Mr. Lion Cyborg. I'm Lion Cyborg Good. I have a 20 and 4 record. I'm fighting out of New York City at Tiger Shulman's. I'm coming off a first round knockout of USC 230, and I'm going for another one tonight. Strong words there, but listening to Lyman Good this week, it's clear he has the utmost respect for Damian Meyer. And not just the Brazilian legend's skills, but the way he carries himself professionally. In fact, I think this might be the first time that Meyer fights that Good is not going to be supporting him. <laughs> you know, Damian Meyer is one of those kind of fighters that all of the fighters love because he's one of the last purists that left in the sport. You know, he's first and foremost, he's a Brazilian jiu-jitsu veteran. He's a, a very, very decorated champion. And when he transitioned over into mixed martial arts, he was able to bring those submission skills with him. He's been able to drown people in pressure on the ground. And as soon as he's clamped onto somebody, you're really never safe. He can attack you from any angle. And now he's moved down to welterweight. You can see he's fighting guys that are much more his size. I, I mean, I, I've always been impressed with Damian Meyer. He only runs into trouble when he's against strong wrestlers. So I think he's going to try and close Lyman Good down early in this fight so he doesn't have to deal with those big power hands of Lyman Good. Lots of respect and a lot of experience up there on the stage right now. Lyman Good, a former world champion of another organization. But this is his big <laughs> ticket to leapfrog <laughs> up the rankings. José Aldo contra Renato Moicano. O primeiro aqui na balança é Renato Moicano! Brazilian's Renato Moicano feels he's been presented with the big ticket. He said if he beats the legend Jose Aldo, the world will know his name and he'll be positioned for a title shot. But in his mind, Dan, he must get past the status of Jose Aldo, something he's confident in doing, saying he's largely unemotional about fighting until after the battle. But it's a big ask, because these fans don't like him. No, it's amazing. I mean, pretty much everyone's already siding with Aldo, as you can hear in the arena. And that just shows you how, how, much, his re how much respect is put on Jose Aldo, the, the longest reigning featherweight champion, WEC champion, UFC champion, Look at that, most knockouts in the UFC WEC history. He's a fantastic fighter. I've had the opportunity to train with him myself in, in Rio de Janeiro. And I mean, he's absolutely lightning in the gym as well. Very well-rounded fighter, beautiful Muay Thai, excellent timing. I always go back to the Cubs once and knock out. He gets eight seconds in, he landed that knee. I mean, this could be a change of the guard tonight, but Jose Aldo over three rounds, for me, is one of the most dangerous fighters that's ever graced the octagon. Oh, absolutely. Marlo! You know, I love a good rematch, John, and I can only imagine how Marlon Moraes felt after that first bout. His UFC debut, he stepped in against Rafael Assuncao, and he gave everything he got, and he didn't quite manage to get the decision. But this time around, he can reflect back on that fight, and he can correct those things that he, that he you know, made mistakes on. The times he left himself open, and uh, and uh, Ronaldo, uh, and uh, Assuncao managed to capitalize. Well, Rafael is out to prove Marais made a mistake 
asking for him. In my eyes, he is one of the most underrated guys in the UFC, and I have some thoughts about similarities to Jacare, never quite getting that title shot. Interesting one here, Dan, if you cast your mind back. Asun Sao has very good memories of fighting here in Fort Delaysi. It was the last time he got a submission victory. So I think that'll be on his mind as well. But more than anything, he wants to march forward and put Marlon Moraes behind him. He really feels like he's ready for a title shot here. And, and I think, you know, one more win, he's got to be there. Vamos bater um papinho rapidinho com a galera aqui. Marlon, como é que você se preparou agora para essa revanche? O que você espera para a luta de amanhã à noite? How did you prepare yourself for this rematch and what do you expect tomorrow night? É, tanto Rafael como eu vencemos os melhores da categoria. Chegamos aqui e eu tô muito preparado para essa revanche. Vai ser uma grande luta e, galera, eu tô pronto. Vou sair com a vitória. Um abraço. Rafael and I have been the best guys in the division and they brought us back here. I'm really prepared for tomorrow night. It's going to be a great fight. Marlon, boa sorte para você. Show de bola. Rafael, tudo bem? Boa sorte para você amanhã. O quanto uma vitória sobre o Marlon amanhã pode te colocar mais próximo de uma disputa pelo cinturão? Where does a win tomorrow night against Marlon put you in the division? Então a vitória vai me credenciar para disputar o cinturão. O foco agora é o Marlon amanhã. Tem um grande oponente na minha frente. E vamos passar por mais essa aí. The win tomorrow night is going to give me a title shot. I'm very focused on him. I have a great opponent ahead of me, so let's focus on that tomorrow. Senhoras e senhores, Rafael Assunção. Boa sorte, meu irmão.